Yo guys, <laughs> we're really pushing the limits of the computer today. So I'm rendering a 4K Halo video and I'm recording a 1440p desktop recording for the video at the same time. And we'll see if it crashes. I thought this would be a good time to record a little bit of a commentary for Resident Evil 2. And I could talk about my feelings about that game and and everything related to it and then uh we'll hop in i don't i know it would probably be funnier if i commentated the the scary game but i don't know i i really like focusing and, and trying to see like how many herbs i can store up you know what i mean i like that dank herb like i, I don't know i just like uh It makes it feel like when I was a kid and I played Resident Evil 4 for the first time and you're like alone in your room. You just got done masturbating. It's, it's like time to see Ashley's tits. But, uh... I don't know. Just like having that experience again is more fun to me than commentating it, I guess. Commentary kind of ruins it, I guess, because instead of enjoying the game, I'm just sitting there talking about the game all the time, you know? Anyways, if you're wondering why I didn't do commentary for this game, maybe there's a possibility in the future that I might do like a replay through of one of these and commentate that. So be on the lookout for that if you're looking for commentated Resident Evil stuff. But uh, for now, this will suffice. I'm just going to chat about it and... uh. Before I start playing the game, I'll drop a Steam review for Resident Evil 2 Remake. I just like to think of it as Resident Evil 2 now because I don't give a fuck about um, the, fir the original games. Those games are dog shit. Those games are trash. I don't know how people like that garbage. I'm glad like those games gave us Resident Evil 4, but those games are dog shit. I don't care what you say. I'm not saying like the story and the setting and the ambiance is all bad. Like... I'm sure that's cool. A lot of games that were trying to be great in the 90s had that had like a fucking vibe going on. I get it. I mean, Donkey Kong Country. <laughs> Need I say more? It's still better music than almost any game that ever comes out. <laughs> like, that's crazy. Um, but yeah. I've just been realizing, like, I don't want to be stuck in the mud like all these, like, sad 30-year-old Halo players as I'm rendering out a Halo video for my YouTube channel that nobody watches. Um, but for real, like, when you start seeing it after years and years and it's just, like, you see that the, all you really match is, like, new people who aren't going to play the game anymore because they're going to run into douchebags like me. Or they're going to run into teams of douchebags who are even douchier than me. It's just, it becomes very disheartening, you know. It's like a, like the world's already unforgiving, but now the video game that you were excited to play is even more unforgiving than the world sometimes, you know what I mean? Well, you could literally waste hours just searching and to get a, good, a, a normal skill level match, you know what I mean? Like, you get almost anything but that. You versus a team of sweaty fours. You with a couple sweaties on your team that are even better than the, the sweaty team of four you match, and you just crush them, and then the next game you match them again, but you got bots this time, and you just lose to them horribly. Like, I don't know. That is, I don't think that sounds like fun to anyone. That's why nobody does it. So basically, all the wins are reserved for party-up douchebags. Who are like sad and pathetic as like you don't want to associate with these people like as much as I love Halo like clearly I love Halo more than almost anyone on the planet. You know what I mean? I'm going on 6,000 hours on Master Chief Collection on the PC like that's probably like top 0.001% of time played you know what I mean? Since the PC version came out. And uh you know what I mean? It's it's kind of crazy. 
if, if a guy who's played the game that much and literally broke through barriers, you know how most people run into barriers where they can only do something a certain amount of time and it just starts to drive them crazy. You know what I mean? I broke through that many barriers to stick with this game every, you know, most people left this game for years at a time. And I still can't enjoy it. You know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. There isn't like some massive level just beyond mine that is available. You know what I mean? Like, I struggle to keep up with myself from yesterday half the fucking time. And I almost see no one ever play like I do. And whenever I do, I it's a very rare occasion and, and I acknowledge it. And I'm like, yeah, that person's clearly skilled as fuck. You know what I mean? But when you're just running into teams of people who aren't as good as you and all they care about is making you feel like you're bad and all they care about is overpowering the W by having an overpowered team against your bots and that's all they do and that's all they care about and every single one of them, whenever they hop on video games, they're always doing that and that's the only way they ever play. When you start realizing that's how it is, it gets super cringe, you know what I mean? It's like, I'm trying to be an independent man, you know what I mean? I don't need... I don't need to rely on no team all the fucking time. But if the game is unplayable without a team, you know. Or if it takes triple the amount of play time just to get a, a couple normal matches, it just leaves a bad feeling in your life. Like, you just feel like you're wasting your life and these douchebags are... Who care? They care so much about beating you, you know what I mean? When you're the one good player on the other team, they care so much. It's so cringe. Because whenever you match these guys and they happen to be alone once in a while, they just stand still. Stand, they, they die twice to you and then they stand still. Or they quit out. You know what I mean? And they'll, they'll say like, they'll like go like, yeah, but you quit out sometimes. And I'll be like, yeah, I quit out when it's me going plus 10, plus 15, plus 20. And the match just started and I'm still losing. You know what I mean? Like, I quit out when it's me and I can't even get a kill and I'm losing 20 to 3. If I can't even get a kill, you know what I mean? What's the point of playing? Because nobody else on my other team is going to have a fucking chance. Even if I laser everyone down, it doesn't matter. These kids are so douchey, man. And they only, they, they're they only big talking when they, they're complaining every time when they're alone. And then when they're with a group, they, they like want people to complain about them because they like get high off of it. They like come in their little panties about it. Score it everywhere. Like, I don't know, man. Just, like, being a part of that community is disgusting. I feel like I'm above that now. <laughs> like, And I'm kind of sad with myself for even sticking around these, like, shitlords this long. Really, realistically, the only way a good Halo player should play now is just like Tylenol does. You just, like, fucking grab a stack of three other 50 MLG kids, and the only time you play, you'll randomly do it off stream and just play Social Slayer and crush everyone for, like, a couple hours. Tell you're so bored of the game and you realize you're actually as good as you thought you were. You know what I mean? Because nobody can just trivialize your skill with an overpowered squad. They actually have to beat you and they can't do it. Now I see why Tylenol got bored of social because he did have the that those groups of people. He could always be in a four stack. Whenever I matched that kid maybe like 15 times over the last 10 years and every single time I matched him, he was with a four stack. <laughs> And that's just him on his main account. I don't know how many times I matched him on Smurfs. I know I've matched him on Smurfs before too, though. So it's probably more than 15 times I matched that guy. But I just use him as an example because it's like, you know what I mean? Like me, Fat Rat, Tylenol, and Flazen. We all search social. You know, me, me, Fat Rat. Uh, who else? <laughs> I don't even know who's like out on our level. Me, Fat Rat. Um, Goku and Vegeta. Like, I don't even know who else would be on our level, you know? Me, Fat Rat, Slade, and I don't even know who else is on our level. You know what I mean? Like, there's not that many people who are actually that good that I know. I know there are some. I just don't know their names because I don't play doubles and I don't get to know those people. But basically, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what these people, that's what would be required of me to have those people not only be my friends, but want to make sure that I never lose a social game that I don't deserve to.
And if I did that, guess what? Every time I did match a team of four, they would hate the fuck out of me. They would rage so bad because we'd be, even though they're super good, they'd be losing like 50 to 20 every time. If I had teammates like that, you know what I mean? I wouldn't even have to try. I could probably just stand still and those three people that are at my level could probably win most of those matches. I don't know. It's weird. But like I'm saying, I just don't want to be stuck in... The, and this is why I'm playing Resident Evil 2. This all relates back to, like, why... You might, like, ask, like, why are you playing Resident Evil 2 all of a sudden? You know what I mean? Why are you switching up all the games you play? You're not playing fighting games anymore. You're not doing anything that we used to think you do. Sometimes you play Metroidvania. Sometimes you play platformer. Sometimes you play RPG. Sometimes you play shooting games. Sometimes you play survival horror. You know what I mean? Like, you might be wondering, like, why I do some of those things. Part of it's I just want to play what I feel like. And the other part of it is, like I said, I don't want to be stuck in the mud anymore. I, you know what I mean? You play, it doesn't matter how good you are at a game. If you're stuck in the mud, you're stuck in the mud. You know what I mean? You stick around for something too long, you're stuck in the mud. If you've played Halo Infinite every day since it came out, I don't care how good that game gets, how fun it might be a few years from now when there's a bunch of maps and new settings and stuff for it. If you're, if you're stuck on something that long, you're stuck in the mud. You're not, I don't care how deep you think skill can go. You know what I mean? You're just a human being at the end of the day and... Even if you're, like, doing art, like, imagine you, you went crazy in, like, your 20s and you were brainwashed by people and, and you felt like you had to be amazing, otherwise the world, otherwise you're a failure, which is a lot of us. So they just, like, spend all their time from, like, the age of 20 to 40 doing art, right? And I'm not saying that's all a bad thing, but what if they miss out on so many other things that they could have done if they opened their mind, you know what I mean? If they opened up their life, if they got themselves stuck or not stuck out, or out of that quick quicksand you know what i mean they're no longer a stick stuck in the mud they're something that's moving and changing and growing as they age and really being there every day you know what i mean i just feel like habits like this get you stuck in other sins you get stuck playing the halo game the game is completely unsatisfying and filled with douchebags you have no choice but to deal with them if you want to keep up the grind You'll run into insane amounts of them almost every single game. You'll be strung along by the couple of good matches that you earn by being overly skilled for all your hard work. I don't know. Here's a little bit of my YouTube upload process. It's the same as everybody else. Make a video, you upload a video. Bada bing, bada bang. You can watch me uploading a video that I'm going to have public around the time this commentary also goes up. Here's people thinking I'm fat rat again. Oh, I wonder why. No, dude. This fucking Da Vinci Resolve is trash. <laughs> like, it keeps doing this thing where I render out a video and then... The audio is just off sync for no reason. Now I have to re-render out that whole video. And I have to remake it as well. Well, give me a second here. Guess that's what we're doing now. I'm not sure what I have to do differently to make sure make sure it works, but, but I have to do it again. DaVinci Resolve. I've never had that problem happen in any other fucking editing program and it sucks because besides the couple of big mistakes davinci resolve has it's perfect so it, it, that's why it sucks because it actually would be perfect but it has like a couple of these glaringly obvious mistakes and it's like you really you really have to pay buku bucks and get adobe if you want good editing software you got to get adobe it's crazy Sucks because this stuff is almost perfect, man. Almost. Almost perfect. Here, let me do this quick. And then we'll chat about some video games for a little bit more and trash talk people. And then, and then we'll play some games. It 
This is a waste of my fucking time. This is a waste of my fucking time. Fuck you, Da Vinci Resolve, and fuck you, Black Magic 2-2. Two, two. You guys are wasting my fucking time. Bing, 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 bing. Maybe this will fix it. Oh, crash, crash, Da Vinci Resolve, baby. Fuck your YouTube video. Five minutes to open the program, and never mind, this... I used to recommend this shit to people, but it's actually fucking trash. I have an 8-core computer with 32 gigabytes of RAM, like, come on. Eleven gigabyte fucking graphics card. Come on, can't even render a four minute video clip that was just recorded with new software. Like it's not glitched. It's not like some glitched camera video from like decades ago. And it's ten eighty p. It's got shit encoding or something. No, it's the fucking new video at the resolution of the monitor. It's on. Like, come on. Editing programs are such fucking shit. They were shit fucking 15 years ago when I started and they're still fucking shit. If I ever get Adobe Creative Cloud and it's not fucking immaculate, I'm going to be pissed. I lost so much work because of this thing crashing and all this other bullshit. Timelines getting deleted and timelines being the wrong frame frame rate and shit like it's the most confusing and convoluted garbage ever. It doesn't even work properly. Watch, I'll probably import this video this time. Watch this shit for the YouTubes. I'll import this same shit. Change we got the right frame rate. These fucking idiots don't have. 1440p resolution is an option. You can't even like make it a custom one. It's like hidden in the menu so deep. It's crazy. So this usually works. So what do I got to do? Create a timeline or is this going to crash me again? Oh my God. This is dog shit program. <laughs> your one video, the pixel in your video was off center and it corrupted the whole file and that file will not work in DaVinci Resolve anymore. Unless you find magical workarounds. Like, it's so cringe how bad this software is. It's so fucking bad. Because of these dumb little reasons. Like, how have I rendered out four hours of Halo clips all strung together, but I can't import two little clips? That are just normal. There's nothing special about these clips. Like, why is this fucking me over so hard for no reason? Like, this is what I was afraid of. I thought this was going to go smooth, but somehow this whole video got fucked up. Because this is shit program, dude. Here, I'll create a new timeline. But now that I do that, audio track type, what is this confusing ass shit? If I do this, it's going to have the audio fucked up and I have no clue how to make it back. Because it's not fucked up in the in the in in here. Watch. Zoom right over here. See that? Seems good, right? Not to DaVinci Resolve. Something's wrong here. We'll, 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 we'll give them the benefit of the doubt. We'll render this out at 1440p instead of upscaling it to 4K. And we'll see if for whatever reason this fixes our problem, which is not going to. And if it does, I'm not even happy with that solution because I had to lose my 4K quality for this. And I had to waste a bunch of time and double render and all this shit. What's this? Fuck you. Like, why do I have to double change that? That's so confusing and un and useless. And then if you change that, you have to go back here and redo this again. Like, look how fucking garbage this shit is. Why do you make it so confusing for no reason? It could be so simple. Like, 
These guys over convolute every fucking thing. And it makes your video fucking crash when you import it. When you import two little clips. Like, come on. This is 2022 with a new, brand new fucking computer. Like, hold the... F I'm like, what the fuck? Alright, see if this works. Crunching on some snap peas. It's the only thing keeping me a little bit sane. Yeah, so... My new goal is to basically be attached to nothing. I want to do more things. You know, have a cleaner life, a healthier life. Do more things. And just, like, not be attached to anything, you know? Like, when I'm done with Resident Evil 2, I'm done with Resident Evil 2. It's time to move on, you know what I mean? I'm not going to sit there and pick at some bones of a turkey. Like, I'm not going to sit there and, oh, I got to... get every achievement and waste my whole life because I need to prove that I love this game and you know what I mean like speedrunning it's one thing but like being clinged on to like the idea of getting a world record or something I, I feel like that is like going down bad rabbit holes you know what I mean you gotta know the difference between persistence and moving forward and and Getting stuck down rabbit holes and stuck in the fucking mud, you know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty happy with, even though I play Halo way less now, like, instead of playing, like, six hours a day, maybe I play, like, one hour every two days. So I've been, I'm playing, like, way less, right? Well, actually, maybe, like, two hours every two days. Like, I might miss a day here and there, but then I'll play, like, two hours. And But the thing is, I play less, but like I'm saying... 80% of my matches today were all unfair dog shit. The, the one match that was in in my favor, even with all three of my teammates going negative, I, I dropped 44 kills and someone thinks I'm fat rat. You know what I mean? Every other match, I'm up against TTV douchebags all partied up. And no one on their team is a weak link. They're all fucking sweaty. They're all fucking the same kind of guys who get super butthurt when they search social and they get shit on. And it'd be one thing, like, I'd put up with losing to them once in a while if they would queue up solo afterwards once in a while. But they never queue up solo because they're fucking pussies. You know what I mean? Like, if I was most likely going to match them later on that night and they were going to be searching so solo or duo, sure. But no, these guys, they only search when they're with a the team because they don't ever want to lose. They're the biggest douchebags you've ever seen in your life. None of They're all super sad with their lives. They don't do anything. They all click up with people on Twitch and act super nice to their friends, but then they're mean to everyone else, teabag everyone else, trash talk everyone else. Looking at you, Creature, you fucking teabagged me. Because I was shitting... See what I mean? I'm shitting on Creature. I think I went 25-2 and two against him, which he would never do against me, even with a team. So I go 25-2 and two against him and Sweaty's on his team. He was partied up with Sweaty's as well. On Snowbound, I'm out BRing them every time. The perfect, like, perfect BR. Like, you can you don't see BRs better than this on Snowbound. And he's, the one time I think he kills me, he teabags me. You can see that he's fucking mad. He's losing to me. He's getting super mad that I'm winning the game. And I'm probably, probably in his head, he thinks I'm trying super hard. But I wasn't really just chilling to do that good. And I didn't teabag back. I don't fucking care. He matched me a couple times around, you know, within that, that hour, and I beat him every time. Oh, but then when I'm matching him later on today, I think that was yesterday or something. Guess what? He's got a team. He's got a team of four. Not two, not three, four. The only way these fuckers ever play the game... They start out searching with a team of three. They get their friend who gets on, hops on a little bit later. Team of four. All of a sudden, all the night is filled with that. And that's the only way they play. They never, they never go easy. Even if they've had ten wins in a row, they still fucking care too much about winning. None of them will ever 1v1 you. None of them will ever invite you and make you part of their team of four. 
if they ever do, they're just using you for a little bit and then they move on. They don't hit you up ever again. It's like the cringiest shit ever. They're not, they, they don't, they're not thankful if you carry them because they can just go and party up with another group of people and they don't need you to carry them. You know what I mean? When in reality, if, if it was me and I had a guy who was able to carry me, which I don't even know if that exists. I've never even met somebody who can carry me. Every time someone's on my team, I always do the best. Even on a bad match with, with the most unlucky match ever, I'll still do the best. Be like once in a blue moon where somebody could get better stats than me. And it's usually because I wasn't trying or we're like playing bots and I don't even care. You know what I mean? I, I don't even mind if people do better than me once in a while because I want them to feel like they're good too. You know what I mean? I'm a nice guy like that. But these people, some of them take it, a like I was saying, take it a step too far. It's like, bro, I just went 25 and 2 against you. Quit fucking teabagging me, Creekshire, you fucking douche. You wonder why I don't, like, keep you on my friends list and, and, and talk to you all the time. Because you go and do shit like that. I'm beating you in a match where I have worse teammates than you. It's, I beat you 25 to 2, which you'll never do in your life against me. I don't care about it. I'm, I'm, I'm not calling you a bad person for losing that much, but don't fucking teabag me. You know what I'm saying? I don't have friends like you to rely on. This is my win. You know what I mean? Like, I earn this shit. You just fucking party up with people all the time and act like you don't. That's what, all those people like act like they're solo queue gods like me, but none of them ever solo queue. So I don't know. It's just a cringe. Like I said, it's a cringe community to be a part of. It's been more stress than anything. For the for the past few years on with like, playing this game with these people, Let's see if this is it's working now. See, like, what did I do different? Who the fuck knows? Yep. Like, that shot on that guy was actually... He spawned right there. I didn't even notice that. I just, just killed him, too, right? Oh, it was a different guy. Well, whatever. We figured out that annoying mystery. Sometimes your audio will be desynced if you're trying to upscale, but not all the time. Weird little quirks. Oh, what did I just do? Whatever. I'll handle it later. Um. Behind the scenes peek on the YouTube lifestyle. Okay. Well, anyway, let's move on from all that. That took way too long to, for no reason. Um, but yeah, I'm just done, like I said, with a stuck in the mud mentality, you know, not to be petty, but I want to be better than these people. Like, I don't like how these people live their lives. The, I, I need a team. I need to be better than you. I never say GG. I never respect you when you beat me, even though I'm party. Like, that's the thing is they don't even respect you when you beat them while they're they're douching you. They're literally pounding you against the wall with a team that's overpowered and they know what they're doing and you beat them in games and they never respect you for it. That's the thing. You know what I'm saying? No, that no one ever once after I pound, I just pounded them on Icebox today. I sniped the fuck out of Creature and, and Nameless. Like they just got destroyed. I wasn't even trying that hard. Anymore. I just crushed them. You know what I mean? And it's like, they wouldn't, not only have they never done that to me, but they never would do that to me. But they can't even do it to me when I have three shit teammates and they have three good teammates. You know what I'm saying? But guess what? They don't send no likes to my YouTube channel. They don't send no subscribers my way. They don't invite me for a match or two after I whoop their ass. You know what I mean? They just keep searching, hoping they can beat me. It's like the cringiest shit you've ever seen. 
They keep, they keep searching, hoping they can find other people like me that is a good player who's got bad teammates. They, like, love that shit. That's what, that's what they're hunting. They're, like, teams of four that, like, hunt people that they would never be able to beat without their team of four. Like, that's literally what they do. I just figured them out. I'm in their fucking psyche. I'm in their fucking brain. I know what they're doing. And that's why I quit out of most of their unfair bullshit matches. Because they're like, if you want to play me, I'm, it's going to be me crushing you, bitch. Because you ain't ever going to play me in a fair match and get crushed. You just want to cheat me. You just want to cheat me. That's all they want to do is cheat you. It's, it's the cringiest shit ever. They want to get the easiest win possible against you. It's the weirdest, it's the weirdest fucking community of sad people you've ever seen. And that's how, like, all shooting game players all are. They're all egotistical sad fucks. And none of them are talented at anything else. They're always just, like, shitty job. They smoke weed. They don't do anything else. They don't make music. They don't play a bunch of different video games. They're not, they don't make YouTube videos. They don't talk. They don't help people. They don't care about their family. They're not making smoothies for their family every day of the week. They're not doing the family's dishes. You know what I mean? They're just... Something's wrong with them. They're usually, like, not healthy either. Like, overweight or they don't take care of themselves. And I, I just realized, like, that is completely not me. Like, I might be in this community, but I have If you look back on me, I'm like a completely different guy. I'm like the guy who lost weight. I'm like the guy who went to the gym for four years every day straight, you know what I mean? Just doing the, the hardest, gru most grueling hour and 30 minute to two hour, two and a half hour workouts. Like, that's who I am, you know what I mean? Guy who does yoga every day of his life for seven years straight. Long after the back injury was well healed, I'm still doing yoga just because I find it as a, as a nice life skill, you know what I mean? And I'm not sitting here, like, bragging about this shit, like, I want to be better myself, you know? I want to be far better than where I'm at. I'm just saying, like, associating with those people is just bad fucking juju all around. It's not worth it. Like, as much as I love montage clips and I love playing shooting games and being one of the greatest of all time, it's just not worth it because these people are that way, you know? And that's the only way they're ever going to be and they won't admit that they're doing that to the population and... It's weird. So anyways, I'm moving on with, uh, you know, we're doing new things. Resident Evil 2. But I just want to play new games and do new things and experience every bit of the gaming and art world and the music world that I can. You know, I just want to do more good things with my life like that. I just... Being a part of, of these people's raunchy, toxic, sad communities of people smoking cigarettes all day and killing themselves. Like, I can't do it no more. I never met one person on there who, like, changed my life for the better, you know? I might have tried to love them and try to be friends with them, but I never met one person. There was, like, a decent person to talk to was, like, Jimmy, a guy from some random good Halo player from Australia. I had a good conversation with him. There, there's one person. But you know what I mean? Like, the fact that I've been a part of this community for that long and just never got anything good back from it, but got plenty of hate and plenty of dog shit back from it. You know what I mean? Like, that's just... It's like getting bullied at school. It's like, I don't want to be bullied. You know what I mean? Like, fuck off. Except I'm working for this, and I'm trying my best, and I'm actually talented. And I beat some of the best players in the world every day, and they have unfair teams against me. You know what I mean? It's just like, people, there's probably hundreds of people who know my name from me beating their favorite streamer on Twitch TV. Like, no, no lie. And that's like the only reason they know me, and they don't care about me, and they just... And they, whenever I lose, they probably just use that as an excuse for me not being as good as I am. They're probably like, oh, this guy's not as good as he says he is and stuff. You know what I mean? Like, I guarantee people do that. You'll snipe them ten times in a row, crush them, make them quit out of a match like Goon. Some dude named Goon I used to play with. And then he, he never admits when he's a douche. You know what I mean? Like, I can admit when I'm a douche, but this guy can't. He's just a douche sometimes and then can't admit it. It's the biggest... 
It's the most frustrating person ever to deal with. If you have any type of standards for your friends. It's like, that shit's fucking cringe, dude. <laughs> I never carry you, but you used to say I carry you. Like, there's like these contradictory sta statements, you know what I mean? Well, when you wanted my help and you wanted to be my friend, you're saying I was one of the top five Halo players you've ever seen in your entire life. But then when you don't like me anymore and you're trying to swap me out for other people, you you say that you never said that or some shit. Like, it's just the cringiest. Like, they're just liars. It's weird. But they only, like, do it with you and you don't ever see them do it with their other friends. It's it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, I always say it's like a clicked up high school situation all over again, except for some reason, even if you're great, it's even worse in high school because and even if you're great, they're just jealous of you and they hate you instead of try to befriend you like in high school where if you were great in high school, you at least had a chance at getting friends. You know what I mean? Friends who were decent. But anyways, these, these people, like those are just some examples, but it goes deeper than that. Those are just some personal situations I had with people that were just like, they rubbed me the wrong way. It's like, kind of disgusting to me how a, a decent friendship turned into that garbage. You know what I mean? Anyways, that's why I talk about it so much. If you wonder. But yeah, we're moving on. Resident Evil 2, I got loads of new games coming out. I'm, I'm interested in The Night Witch, which looks like a fun Metroidvania, except it's like flying bullet action, bullet hell type action. Looks like I'd have more fun with that than even something like Pronti or whatever. It's like an underwater Metroidvania where you like swim, swim around, I think. I don't really remember. Um... Resident Evil 2, on the other hand, has been great. I'll do, we'll do up a review right now. It's not me not being able to type. Anytime there's a mistake, it's the wireless keyboard's fault. Trust me. I'm becoming a typing god. <laughs> I just need to actually try once in a while. I always like challenge myself and use this like mini awkward elect or electric keyboard. Uh, wireless keyboard. <clears throat> 
Snap peas are hard to eat when you're talking. I'm never going to do that again. They get like all flaky and they get stuck in your throat. It's terrible. They're not so bad when you're not talking. You just got to chew them a long time. Note to self. What else did I play on mouse and keyboard? I swear I played something else there. I mean, I tried other stuff on, but I never really. I played a good amount of Halo Infinite on mouse and keyboard, and Halo Three. I guess I did play a lot of Halo. I'll say Halo. See, like, I'm typing these letters, but they're not coming out. I have no clue why, because the receiver of this mouse and keyboard is, or this keyboard is right there. This is going to be kind of corny, what I just type in a second. bad at typing those punctuations. Gotta be cute with the S there. So people, so the honeys who check out my reviews think I'm super cute. I don't got much to work with here. I'm a gamer. <laughs> you know what I mean? I need, I need to put my best foot forward. My best foot's forward. Ooh, I'm, I'm a cutie. Come and, come and kiss me. Ooh.
I wonder if they're really going to go all the way and do like a Resident Evil 5 remake, a Resident Evil 6 remake. We made it good this time, bitches. <laughs> That'd be kind of sick, actually. And then a Resident Evil like 7 remake, third person, and then Resident Evil Village remake, and then Resident Evil 2 remake remake, where they remake a game that was already remade and, and they reimagine it again. I think I'm going to love RE Village, <laughs> even though I thought it was like the cheesiest game ever when I watched the playthrough. But now I think maybe that's a great direction for them to go, even though there was some mistakes here and there. It was a, an amazing stepping stone for the game, especially if you're considering it for like already being down to 30 bucks and it might be down to 10 or 20 soon or like 15 or 20 probably. Like that, that game might have some flaws, but for, it's easily, it's an easy buy at $15. You know what I mean? Like all day, 15, 20 bucks. The second that game hits 20 bucks, like, yeah, there's so much fun zombie shooting action in that game. Cool guns, reasons to replay it. You know, that's where I'm at. Like, I'd rather experience new stuff like that than sit there and be some stuck in the mud fucking crotchety ass 30 year old who feels like a 50 year old like most of these halo players are you know what i'm saying anyways i just got to speak like it is because every time i go on that game it's the same fucking thing like this is coming from the guy who played more than anyone else you know what i mean these people will do the same fucking thing to that game and I'm, I'm assuming a lot of competitive games are like that so you're better off competing against yourself you know what i mean you're better off doing new things and pushing yourself in other areas of life there's no reason that you need to go and compete against because that's how a lot of us Halo players got it jam and other player and uh, even Fortnite, you know. There's no reason why you need to compete against 90 other 99 other kids who are all skill based against you to make sure that you fucking suck and you die, you know what I mean? You're getting nothing from that. You're not getting better. <laughs> like even when you win, it doesn't feel that good because you know that you're going to lose the next match. You know what I mean? You know there's a good chance you're going to lose very soon. You know what I'm saying? And that's the reality of, of what these shooting games have become. Without the casual population and with, with skill-based matchmaking, that's what they've become. Lots of sharks, hunting sharks. Skilled people getting gypped out of their fucking good matches. For various reasons, you know, third partied by four different kids who are all almost as good as you and sh shitting on you because you were being a little aggressive and trying to get a cool match for yourself. Anyways, you know, I'm just relating it to other games so you can kind of get what I'm talking about. Like, it sucks because it, it's, it's literally a dog eat dog world with these competitive video game players. Like, none of these people could beat you in Smash Bros. None of these people are better than you at mouse and keyboard. None of these people can go on Resident Evil 2 and be better than you and save more herbs and save more bullets. None of these people could beat you in chess. None of these people got better grades than you in school. None of these people have better jobs than you've ever had, have hotter girlfriends, have better families and, and personal hobbies. None of these people, if you're a decent person, none of these shooting game players beat you in any other fucking area. They're not stronger than you. They don't lift more than you. They don't take care of their body with yoga better than you. They don't eat better than you. So why are you, you know what I mean? Why are you with them anymore? Like, yeah, you love the game, but look at the community that you're sharing the game with. You know what I mean? It's one thing if you're a campaign speedrunner. It's another thing if you were somebody who grew up in matchmaking and that's all you did was matchmaking. You know what I mean? And it's like, I just feel myself floating farther and farther away from that community and those people. I don't know. It, it's kind of a good feeling. It's relieving, but it's also kind of sad and it makes me talk about it a lot. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I'm just going to move on and enjoy Resident Evil 2 for now and see where the world takes me. Um... And, you know, it's not that you don't wish the best for any of those people, but they clearly don't wish the best for their fellow man either. You know what I mean? Otherwise, they wouldn't 
care so much about being in teams of four all the time. Like I shouldn't be hopping on and as a solo player matching for two hours and almost every match I'm matching a team of four and I don't have only out of one of those, I had decent teammates and I still carried them. You know what I mean? Like that's whack. Shouldn't, you know what I mean? That's unfair to me. That's speci- the matchmaking is specifically catered against me, the good player who's solo queue. Toxic people who destat their accounts, they get good matches. Why do they get good matches? They they're fucking evil. They literally destat all the time. They don't do it once in a while. They do it all the time, and their stats are fucking horrible. And they're decent players, but they only try when they are getting amazing teammates. And you know what I mean. Otherwise, they just destat and they're toxic. Like that, that, why does that person get more good games than I do? Someone who tries his butt off every time for the, for no matter how dog shit his teammates are, you know, I always at least give him a really good shot. If not stick out the whole shitty loss with them, you know, or clutch it up at the end and give them a win that they didn't, they didn't deserve. You know what I mean? It's just like, it becomes, you become over it. Like, I don't, I don't want to. I don't, f- I could go on there and, and I do this, I I do this sometimes just to prove it to myself. I just search for a little while until I crush some good players and then I invite those good players on my team and then we just pretty much go undefeated and we just win every match after that until somebody leaves. And I do that sometimes just to remind myself like, oh shit, <laughs> this is what it's like when I'm like those guys. Except I'd lose even less than they do, and I crush people even harder than they do, than they ever could. And it's just like, after it all, like, sure, it's kind of fun while you're in, while you're in the process of doing the fucking, you know what I mean? When you're in the process of hitting cool snipes on bots, who or don't even have a chance against your team, you're like, yeah. But it just leaves a bad taste in your mouth, and you're not really getting better at the game And even if you do get clips that way, they're not that interesting because you're skewing the match in your favor. Sure, you might not be able to tell that in the clip, but that's the truth of it, right? If you're getting overkills because your teammates are lighting bots up off spawn on Heretic, like, those aren't good overkills. You don't deserve... you You don't even deserve that overkill, you know? I'm getting overkills fucking, like, half shield out BRing, like, three... the last three people I fight by hitting them first. Rushing forward, hitting them first and shit. Like, I have to put myself at ridiculous risks you know for nothing you know even when, even when i beat these people no one no one supports same same douche who's watching me insulting me who donate who's donating to a streamer and then he watches me beat his favorite streamer on stream he's not going over and saying sorry to me for trash talking me he's not going over and and donating to me and being like, damn, you're good. You just beat the guy I've been watching for seven years. You know what I mean? Like nobody does that. And it's so cringe. It, like I said, it's like a clicked up popularity fuck fest contest of bullshit. So I don't, I don't need high school all over again. A lot of these people are going to be 40. And once they realize they invested every moment of their lives into halo and sitting around smoking cigarettes, like they're, they're going to be fucked, you know? And I don't want to end up like them. So, <laughs> I'm changing it up, man. Fuck that. I got a hella games to play. I got hella things to do. Fuck that. Me and my family, we're learning guitar and we're learning ukulele and we're going to have a family band. Like, or we, we're, we're remodeling our house and redoing stuff with our house. Like, fuck this shit, bro. I'm not ending up like these pathetic fucking gamers. They're, they're not even gamers. They're like a sad disgrace of ego plastered across existence. Like, Gamers are cool. <laughs> Gamers are nice to people. Gamers acknowledge when somebody's good. They don't just try super hard to crush the person and feel like they're better than them. You know what I mean? These people aren't gamers anymore. These are, you know what I mean? They're, they're, they're long past their gaming years. These are 30 year olds. Halo is their fucking job. Playing Fortnite and crushing people with their stacked team is their job. You know what I mean? They ain't getting paid for it, but they wish they they wish their Twitch following was was paying them. You know what I mean? They wish their little two hundred followers was was paying paying their bills, but it's not. But for some reason, they they act like it is. I don't know. 
It's it's a weird, weird. Every, like I don't even. I wasn't even gonna do a commentary today, but I hopped on Halo for like two minutes or, or for like whatever two hours, and I'm just like disgusted. Like I, I would have been better off like eating fucking a whole pizza and getting heartburn and dying the next day than I would have been playing that game. I would have had more fun playing Resident Evil 2. I would have had more fun doing anything. Like I even hit that overkill that you guys see me uploading right now or you saw me uploading. Like even the, even that wasn't good enough to like recoup the terrible feelings that was matching some of these disgusting people. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's crazy. You you almost feel like you're a fucking therapist, you're a psychiatrist, and you're a fucking prisoner all at the same time when you're with these people. They'll judge you. The people watching their stream will judge you. No one will ever like your shit. No one will ever be like, damn, we just seen you snipe that streamer like four times in a row and he's a fucking dino and he's trying super hard. And you just do it like it's nothing, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I can... The fact that I can mimic somebody who should be my fan so easily it shows you how fucking hungry I am for a, for a fucking fan to gas me up. You know what I mean? Like, come on, what the fuck? I deserve a fucking gas man. You know what I mean? A gas girl. I'm guzzling that gas, like fucking gas me up. You know what I mean? Like shit. <laughs> That's the only thing that would make dealing with these groups of douchebags worth it. I wouldn't even complain as much, nearly as much as I do if I had somebody get, if there was like a, something enjoyable for me to receive for getting these ridiculous immaculate wins that I get, you know what I mean? Because I'm getting fucking judged anytime I quit an unfair lobby, even if I'm crushing in that lobby, but it's just so, like I could be like plus 10, the most positive in the lobby, but losing the match by like 10, I don't want to stay around from that. I know you guys are going to fucking judge me if I quit. You're going to be like, oh, this douchebag always quits or he's not as good as he says he is. Blah, blah, blah. I know they're thinking something stupid. You know what I mean? Otherwise, guess what? They would probably be coming around saying, well, sorry, we just matched you four times in a row with our four stack. Like, <laughs> GG's on the ones you beat us. Like, you're way better than us. If they said anything that was truthful, even a little bit, I'd be like, fucking thank you. I can actually breathe for a second and feel like not every four stack group of people is douchebags, but they never prove me wrong. They always end up being the same fucking way as every other group of four people, you know, every other group of three ridiculous boys. That's not how it always is. It's either two or three, but then they're super ridiculous. Like they're almost as good as me or it's four and they're way levels below me, but they're definitely good enough to beat anyone as good as I am because they're just too strong as a group of four. It's really weird. Like, I shouldn't even be comparing myself to these people because I'm one guy, you know what I mean? <laughs> these people got me so ass backwards feeling like I'm not good at the game, but I'm comparing myself to four people, <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not comparing myself in fair teams. I'm not comparing... I'm comparing myself in a 1v4 matches, basically. 1v7 because I have to compete with my teammates dying over and over. As well. Not just be better than them, but I have to be so much better than them that I can make up for the shit teammates. Anyways, they'll never understand the life of a true solo queuer. They think they do. They don't actually do it. Whenever they do, they crumble way faster than I do. Same person who makes fun of you for quitting a couple games is the same person who was desperate for you at one point to carry them is the same person who talks behind your back is the same douchebag. You know what I mean? They're all the same fucking person. Whatever. See how stressed out I have to get about this shit? Just to be a good player who gets overkills on sweaties? It becomes... It was... Yeah, I played for two hours, but it was seven hours of stress. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, and bad habits. And it makes me want to do other bad habits because it was so boring and so toxic for no reason. I'm playing three social matches and I'm already getting thrown into three teams of four. It's just like, it's ridiculous. I don't even know how I hung on this long the more I realize. Because nobody, because when you think about it, nobody has hung on this long. Nobody has my playtime. And anybody who does have near my playtime never plays alone all the time like I do. So I should be awarded at this point. Like the Halo gods should fucking give me a video game. Halo MK edition. It's like a mix of Infinite and Halo 2 and Halo 3. And it's the best game ever. Like I should be awarded like 
a hundred thousand dollars from this community for taking care of their fucking bullshit for so many years for being so damn good at their fucking game that I, everyone thinks I'm their best player in the world. They all think I'm fat rat, (laughs) but they don't, they don't give me subscribers like he gets. They don't give me money like he gets. You know what I mean? I'm not even asking. I don't want as much as him. I don't want one eighth of what he has. I don't want one one hundredth of what he has. I'd be happy with one five hundredth of what he has. You know what I'm saying? And and if I asked for that, these people would still call me a greedy bastard. And then they'd turn around and they'd give out 20 bucks to Fat Rat. And I'm not personally attacking Fat Rat. I'm just using his him as an example. You know what I mean? That's how cringe these people have cringed it up. Because I'm not known, I don't deserve to be known, basically. Because I'm not popular, I don't deserve to be popular. Because they didn't give me a chance, I don't get a chance. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, that's literally how girl, idiot girls in relationships do, do men, and that's how friends do, do other friends, and that's how people online do people online. You never had a chance because I'd never said you had a chance, douchebag. And also, I got 500 friends who are all going to back me up, and you have zero douche. <laughs> like, that's literally how people treat others. It's, it's crazy. It's probably worse than that. Whatever. I'm moving on from all that. I'm going to play a little bit of Resident Evil 2 so this video isn't all me jambering on. Uh, sorry for that crazy conversation, but you guys heard a little bit about my thoughts on Resident Evil 2 Remake, at least. And the uh, future games and things I'm going to be doing with my life. Um, what else? Uh, really super excited. Like I said, a lot of this mouse and keyboard interest that I've been doing on my channel now. We're going to be doing some Kovacs. We're going to be doing Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3. Which I never thought I was going to play because I didn't like the looks of it. We're going to be doing Resident Evil Village after that. Whenever that goes on sale again. Um, Tales of Arise, we might do some mouse and keyboard on there if you can do that. Uh, do some mouse and keyboard on Resident Evil 4 Remake, obviously. So that'll be a lot of fun practicing for that. Like I said, we're going to be doing Kovacs on the side just for that extra aiming practice and to make the mouse and keyboard feel more fun, like I'm doing other things besides just playing one game at a time. So, like, I have a goal, something that's connecting it all, you know? I could work on my mouse and keyboard mechanics for fun, just not inside of of a normal game, you know? That's one thing I liked about Fortnite Creative was, like, it was really fun for that. Just, like, working on mechanics. Trying to get fast at things and feel comfortable with things. I don't know why, it just felt really satisfying. I think that's why I'm moving on to guitar and piano and uh, ukulele and stuff. Is because I'm just, I like getting into those grooves, you know? Once you realize you don't really need to learn by the books music, and you can get very talented at it without learning by the books, you can just get into the groove of things and sort of learn it through sheer experience and practice, and it's a lot of fun. Um, Not that you have to do it that way, or it's the, the best, the un, unequivocal best way, but you know what I mean. Anyways... That's a little bit about my life lately. Uh, besides that, I'm feeling really good. I'm excited for Christmas. My brother's birthday is coming up. We're going to party for that. Uh, we're re- like I said, we've been redoing the whole house. It's going to be great. Uh, a lot of fun things happening. Playing instruments with the family. We're going to buy another guitar down the road to share. I want to buy some more. I want to buy an electric drum set and learn that with my family. I'm not sure when I'm going to do that. It'll probably be sometime next year as a reward. So after I get some of my art done and some of my game development stuff done, I'll, I'll like buy a, an electric drum set and I'll learn that for my family. And, you know, not just for them, but for myself too. And for the, and for the, the YouTube and everything and people who want to buy beats and stuff like that. Um, I'll probably be doing some music videos for some hot girls. So that'll be fun. Like, I might have to masturbate after, after, but whatever. I'm not going to tell her that, you know what I mean? I might have to masturbate after I record that hot chick, but. 
So that's another thing I wanted to mention quick before I go and, and play and let you guys go and you can watch me play games. Uh, I'll let you guys free of my ear torture that is listening to me. Um, my ear rape. Is that okay? <laughs> I don't care. But like trading up, that's what I've been thinking about lately. Like even if you're sinning, like even if you're like smoking cigarettes, like trade up, smoke less. You know what I mean? Even if you're smoking weed, trade up, smoke a little bit less, enjoy it more when you do it. When you're eating food, trade up, you know, eat less, eat better food, trade up, trade up with the video games, trade up with the chicks, trade up, you know, trade up with your life, trade up with everything you can, right? Your yoga, your exercise, whatever it is, keep trying to trade up. There ain't no shame in trying, there ain't no shame in failing, you know, try again. That's what I've been realizing. So I want to trade up in my video games lately. I want to trade up in my health and lifestyle and trade up my habits, you know. That's why I'm trying to get excited about redoing our house, remodeling some stuff and changing up the rooms and uh, getting into instruments and buying those electric drums next year to use with my family and stuff like that. And after that, I want to start building, like, used computers and, like, selling them to people and stuff. Like, not even for making much profit. Like, I might only make, like, $100 on the computer, but just, like, doing it for fun, mostly. That's probably what I'll do, though. So, after I make some money next year with the game development stuff and the YouTube videos and selling stuff and selling old game stuff, however I make money for the next six months, then I'm, I want to move on to, like I said really getting into instruments with my family and, and art and like hanging art up around my house. And then I want to get into making computers out of used parts, the cheapest I can find them and then selling them to people for a small profit, you know? I think that'll be a lot of fun. It'll be adventurous. I'll get to meet people, you know, it'll be a little bit of struggle here and there. But, you know, what's the worst that, that could happen? One person feels like I scammed them on a computer and they, and I lose out on money from one computer or something. Like, that'd be, like, the worst, you know? So I think it's worth it. But anyways, that's some of the plans I have. So I wanted to end uh, the commentary off on a good note. Because that rest of that stuff is just too stressful, you know? That's why I got to vent about it sometimes, because it's like... It's annoying sitting there and like not and knowing that nobody else knows my pain. You know what I mean? Nobody else knows the weird bullshit that I go through for these Halo clips and for my YouTube channel and stuff. But when I could just vent it all, you know, I know sometimes I might sound a little and I am a little bit over the top or I complain a little bit too much or whatever. I get it. I'm not, you know, blind to all that. But like I said, I hope you guys can do see some of that from my side and, 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 you know, believe some of the stuff I say, even if it is harsh, like, so that you can understand, like, why all that is so stressful. Like, I'm just trying to live my life out here. You know, I just happen to be a Halo fan. That doesn't mean I want to be attacked by countless toxic people and bullied by groups of jerkwads and shit. You know what I mean? It's like crazy. Like, none of these people would ever say shit to you in person. They'd all, like, be shy and fat and ugly. They wouldn't say shit to you. You know what I mean? It's just like, I'm better than that, man. I'm going to make more money than that. I'm going to do my family better than that. I'm going to live out my family's legacy better than that. I'm going to live longer than that fucking person. Like, no offense. I'm not trying to put that person down. I'm just mean. I'm not being, I'm not stooping down to that life, you know? No. Not working the shit job that they're going to work. I'm following my fucking dreams. Sorry you work a shit job and you smoke too many cigarettes and you hate your life. Like, get the fuck off of Halo and your stupid four stack of fucking people. Because guess what? When I'm in a four stack, y'all just give up. <laughs> Even if you have a four stack and, and you match me and I have a four stack, they just give up. They just, they get crushed and then they either just like start standing still. At most of them, like they give up. The same kids who are like, criticize you for quitting out against a team of four are the same kids who give up when they're up against a team of four. You see what I'm saying? 
And they even have the, they even have groups of friends backing them up on Twitch. Like, oh, that guy always quits, or they like they like back them up from the Twitch chat. It's like the biggest backseat clicked up gaming realm of fucking douchebags you've ever seen. And I'm done with it. I'd rather get chased by a giant strong man and and piss my fucking pants playing Resident Evil 2. As much fun as I have playing this game, it is stressful and it's scary and it's you know what I mean? Sometimes you just want to be like, this is too scary. I'm I'm done. I'm never playing it again. You know what I mean? But I'd rather put up with all this shit any day of the week then play with those people, those disgusting, sad 30-year-olds. It's crazy. That's coming from a nice guy. That's coming from a guy who loves a lot, a lot of those people, wishes the best from those people. You know what I mean? High school's over, people. Back off of Halo. This is coming from a guy with 6,000 hours on the game. You don't need to play that much. You don't need to try that hard with your team of four. Back it up a little bit. You're, tra- you're saying I'm trying too hard for beating your team of four? Well, you're too... You're trying too hard for having that team of four. Get a fucking life. None of you guys do shit. You can't make rap music. You're too afraid to put yourselves out there. You don't do anything with your lives. Man the fuck up. None of you guys are cool. At least start admitting you're not cool like the rest of us so that you can maybe one day join the cool kids club. You know what I mean? Like, come on. Grow up. We're we're done with you. Partied up fucking douchebags on Halo. Have fun playing against AFKs and playing against people who quit out and, and pretending that you're having fun. Fucking weirdos. That's Mikey. I'm out. Catch you guys down the road. Have a good rest of your 2022. We're going to be banging, playing a lot of fucking games. It's going to be a hype ass December. Let's fucking go, baby.
Son of a bitch.
shit.
son of a bitch. Jesus Christ! Jesus Christ! Ugh. 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 